Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 4th of April. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Coles, Petrol, Sims Metal, Mesoblast and Alkane. So if you have a request, please send them through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but our best stock tips come out on Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report. So please ensure you are getting that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, I'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is portfolio management. So if you'd like my help in managing your portfolio, then please give me a call and all the advice here is general only. So we have a weekly chart of Coles. We could see that for the past few years, it's pretty much been trading in a range between you know, about $15 up towards about 19. It's recently moved off the lower end of that range. Um, switching to the daily chart, we could see that at the end of February, it, it gapped up above this, these couple of peaks here, this sort of resistance level. Um, and it has managed to hold above those those recent peaks. So that's a positive. The moment it just looks like it's getting ready for the next move higher. So I'd say that you know, as a whole, you'd, you'd have a stop just under this line um, and you'd be looking for a move up to sort of fill this next gap. I mean, this, there'd be some resistance here up near 1750. Okay, for petrol. So most recently we had the, the gap up here in December. And then it's essentially traded sideways to consolidate that move. We could see that it's sort of bounced off the, the lower end of that, that gap. So look, so far so good. Um, if we move to the weekly chart, we can see that you know, there is a, a resistance level here. And basically you've had that um, run up to resistance and then it's been consolidating under it. So. So yeah, potentially a positive, you'd be looking for a breakout above this line for the next buy signal, um, and then that should give you a bit of a run. I think it would only be a short-term trade. If I just switch to the monthly chart, you could see you know, it's essentially a long-term um, underperformer, so you can't get too excited about this one. Okay, Sims Metals. So if we just stick with the weekly chart, you'll notice that it's bounced off support pretty clear that there's a support level here but it has tested this on a number of occasions so that's a bit of a negative that it's still back here at this support level um, and the other thing is all of this looks like a large head and shoulders pattern so you've got obviously that peak there a um, little bit lopsided obviously the right hand side's bigger than the left but um, it's pretty clear that $12 is a major level it shouldn't be anywhere near it anymore if we were going to be bullish. So, you know, watch out if it does break under this support level because being such a major level, um, there'd be quite a negative sign and you'd get a fairly decent move lower. Okay, Mesoblast. So if I just switch to the monthly chart, you know, massive underperformer in the long term. You know, you've lost about 90% of uh, the value there. Um, looking at the weekly chart, we could see that it's bounced on quite a bit of volume. Um, so sort of basing here, bounce on volume. Um, but clearly it's going to be coming up to resistance here if we look at the daily chart. Again, we could see the big volumes. So, you know, that is looking good, but you know, coming back to where it was before this massive drop, there's going to be a lot of people that bought around here that are starting to hit the sell button. So. I wouldn't be surprised if the selling starts to kick in pretty soon. Okay, finally Alkane. So you know, just weekly chart. Pretty much still have a downtrend. It's making the the lower highs, lower lows. On the daily chart, sort of short term it's trading you know, pretty well. You've had this sort of bounce here on volume and then it traded sideways to consolidate that move volume dried up, that's what you want to see. And then as it sort of kicked higher, volume came back in. So in this part of the, the chart, it's doing all the right things. Um, but obviously we're getting to a, a level here where I'd expect a bit of resistance. So um, might be sort of slow going from now and it may need to also 
move sideways for a while and just churn through all the potential selling that's going to occur at these levels before it's ready to move higher again. Okay, well that's all for this week. So if you have a request, send it through and I'll try to include your stock next Thursday.